This is not your usual fish pond vlog. It's the story of how a tilapia pond is helping this very isolated community. <laughs> hey guys, so I just wanted to add this in at the start of the video. It's been a couple of days. I've been reflecting on what I saw and so on in this video. I wasn't sure whether to release it or not, but I said it's better I do. I went to a place called Shumbulol to check out the tilapia ponds, which they've been doing very well in helping to get food self-sufficiency for their community there. And in the process, I felt some very strong, either spiritual or emotional energies. So during this video, you might think I seem a bit, I'm struggling with my perception. I'm, I'm struggling to really think at all. I don't know what that was, but all I say is, please watch this with respect and an open mind. <laughs> I slept overnight in this far-flung city -o. but today I'll be trekking even deeper into the unknown. What time is it? I don't know what time it is. It's about 5 o'clock in the morning. They're already playing video geese songs there. Where is my tea? I'm not... I'm still loading. I'm very much still loading. Hey, you're not us. <laughs> oh. So happily eating grass, soon to be disturbed by me. So they carry 100 kilos on a regular basis. I said no, I'm not going to ride one over the mountain, but we're going like 30 minutes there. So, Shumbulul. Shumbulul. Yeah. Nine so, mountains. Shumbulul means nine mountains. Chum, nine yeah. bulul mountains. But, but the route's not too difficult, so I said, okay, for this one. For this one. He's also got a bong look. Yeah. Using horses for transport is a normal thing here, and I finally agreed to experience this part of the local life. So I too, slow, slowly but surely. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We're going to see the reaction of your face and the face of the horse. Kaya horse, Kaya. Oh, atay bong bulotot. Oh my god. Stop. Kaya. I think I pulled a muscle. Hi, <laughs> Delina. Delina, Devi. <laughs> Delina. Ayo, 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 ayo. How, how? After riding in a red horse, what can you say? I feel sorry for the horse. <laughs> <laughs> Too heavy for that. I'm going to walk over the mountain. I've, only, I've ridden a horse once for like 10 minutes before. So I don't want to ride a horse over the mountains is like my first ever thing. It's flat on the other side, I'll ride there. I'm not a commander yet. <laughs> I'm leaving this section to the pros. I think the horse probably has better grip here than me and my shoes. <laughs> this is not a place to learn how to ride a horse. I'm going to keep telling myself that <laughs> to get over the fact that I just don't have any balls to do it. Valley sides are steep, but there are plenty of wild trail snacks. David, what's this for? For the bats. What do they do with them? Yeah, if the bats are strapped, the tribe have. Them. Do they make bat soup? Yes, of course. Bat Very soup. delicious. And you will uh, and you and your energy will go into your back again. Something. They have bat soup. Capoy. Capoy. <laughs> Pero. Ay, ay. Even our local guides are capoy here. <laughs> that means I feel less bad about it. Crikey. I wonder how the horse is feeling. This is one of the food of the hunters, of the Tuboli tribe hunters. Once they come up and they're hungry, they eat hosa. It's not the 
worst thing I've ever eaten in my life. Have a one. No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like berries. <laughs> <laughs> it's a frog. <laughs> <laughs> the out white come up into a prank. <laughs> some of the tallest abaca I've ever seen. And inside the abaca plantation, a spindle used for stripping the abaca. And that is the abaca fiber. Ever since I crossed the valley, I felt an unexplainable feeling that was trying to stop me continuing my journey. But a family along the way was so hospitable as to take us in. For some reason, I, I don't know, if I woke up this morning and wasn't feeling all good, all up here. I, and I mean, for a week I felt very good, like at peace. And then this morning, I it might have been in my, who knows what it was. So. Uh, this place is very, very spiritual, and whether you believe it or not, I, I, I believe something about it from my experiences here, is that there's certain spirits and, and the Duatas and the Guardians that if you do something by misunderstanding, or do something by, yeah, and so on and so forth, and you have to, you have to seek the medicine, you have to seek the, uh, yeah, best part, but I'm, also I saw them, they're making these bannocks here, and I like the design of this one. It's very manly purple. So I'll, uh, I'll get. I, I'm starting to feel better already since I've sat here. Important, very, very important to stay at one with with the land and with the people and with the spirits. Like as the tribe, to, difficult to explain. But uh, I'm gonna drink my drink my ginger tea. So that little corner there has taken an hour. So it takes. It does take two to three days for these. Other supplemental income here includes making these bamboo sticks. When we say tribal medicine, we often think of some like, it's some complicated potion with special ingredients. It's just simple, just very simple. It's what's around them, isn't it? It's not Harry Potter. And that's unique, only here in Tivoli. If we believe that what we eat is our medicine and what is our medicine is what we eat. Yeah. Chicken soup, the favorite cure of everything, of everyone. Weird how these wheat and they suddenly, 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 as soon as I crossed the river, it just felt weak, totally weak. It was one of these unexplainable, strange things that, yeah. Sometimes I experience in some of these strongly tribal spiritual areas. You gotta be conscious of that. I told them to take the hot dogs and the rice that's left over for the kids. Little things, you know, little things. You don't need to come in and uh, give someone large amounts of money. Little things, makes people really happy. Oh, hello. Ayo. This is how kings travel. I don't feel like a king. <laughs> Allah. King. I know you feel like King Kong. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have no panache doing this at all. <laughs> this is your first time? Yeah, for a proper ride, yeah. <laughs> and prepare oh, yourself. Oh, hands. I have two hands, the left and the right. Hold it tight, so clean and bright. If right, you want a red horse. 
just try to drink a red horse. Drink a red horse. got to the top of this and the horse just stopped and was just like no <laughs> no can't make it horse seems to know what he's doing and from here we can see on the ridge from below and now walking down here I feel the peace that I felt yesterday as well and I felt for many many days here at this peace like like nowhere else this is Shumbalo's church <laughs> They have been asking a lot to fix this. This is, yeah, needs cement, it needs nails. It's, uh, how many years is this? More than 10 years. Oh, wow. As is common in these places, they're, they're so far away that they're, they're forgotten. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one of the elders here, oh, yeah. and they are happy that we arrived here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And this is the wife of Pastor Ziri. Morning, yeah. Ah, so. uh, oh, oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. so we go to the the Kids are very shy here. Very shy kids, always very shy, but very interested all the same. They just don't know what to make of this fat white guy walking through their village. That's why. Which fair enough. I wouldn't. I would wonder as well. Being so remote, the residents of Shumbulol grow most of their own food for consumption. Good apples. Good apples. At atop the ridge in the Guno Bong, I became very reflective and empathetic about what I could see. I've actually got to say this now is that I haven't been this affected by a place for a long time. So I don't know about you, but I, I think I saw it with you in you as well. I, I mean, I see the struggle, you know. I mean, at this point, we're at the second city where like five hours walk from Kule with maybe seven hours from the center. It's, yeah, we're a long way out. And of course the roads, well, the city leader said, I heard him say, number one problem with Dallin. It's hard for them to get things in and out here. And it's, I can, I can see the happiness on the, at the foot, but I can also, uh, I can sense the, yeah, I can sense it. What's their crops here? Also corn? Yeah. Uh, abaca more. More abaca. More on okay. abaca and yeah, yeah. coffee. Ah, abaca and coffee. Inside okay. that harvest. Ah, yeah, okay. Ah, they so don't plant corn anymore. It is because it's very far away from. Yeah. And, it, and then they. Per kilo, of the price of the corn is yeah. very. Very low now. Low, unlike mm -hmm. the abaca. Yeah, the yeah. abaca is okay now. One house is composed of four families. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. But there is something that they've managed to do quite successfully here, which I'm, I'm very happy about. And something I know, know a little bit about, which is tilapia. So right down the bottom, there's a pond. So we're gonna go down there, gonna have a look down the bottom. They have hope, they have hope. They have hope and that's what I like to see. They're happy, they're happy. And that's, that's the main thing. This more than one hectare pond has a constant fresh water supply, and I could see how proud the residents were of it. 
sa una ni nagkuan nagpros makuan anak nga sagot pagka pagkado kay amto nagtubig nagkuan nag dusot ang tubig ang talapya uh, bago pa na sila nagkuan ka tanom anong unom ah uh, unom okay dan. and this is I think this is great this is really sustainable too in this size population because they can really do the shared resource as well even the feeds they're using are locally grown and sustainable this processed corn the good thing about tilapia is they will naturally, unless they're the hybrid versions, the tilapia will naturally reproduce, reproduce, so you'll always have stock in there. Are there any big ones? Depends on management, really. Oh, hey, nice. Hey, hey. Hey. It takes a long time to catch them. It, it does. I did this before. It does. It takes a long, long time to catch tilapia. They hide in the mud. hiding in the middle. That guy's found a seine net though, which is good. That's much, much easier to, uh, to catch them with. Of course, this pond like this, you can't drain it. <laughs> oh, onion daco. We waited for it, but they're, they're finally coming this way. I think the big ones are all in the middle. They're afraid to come over. And something flew in my eye. <laughs> oh, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Trez. Ah. <laughs> hey, the buoy wants to go back in the water. It's working for them. It is working. <laughs> two to three grams of one feeding with corn that's that's good going I'm glad I've seen this big ones that gives yeah really gives me a good hope that that this can really provide extra food for them and uh, yeah as long as as long as it's managed well I have an idea it's good to see you know and this things like this provide hope I saw the hope the happiness then I looked around and realized it's difficult eh and then again we see the hope again they want a simple life simple living. They don't think about sacrifices. They want to sacrifice for this place. This is a peaceful place for them. That's why I told to myself, you must be aware once you touch them because it can cost you. That's also, I mean, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking when I, I mean, I see these things through my eyes and then I, then I, really, then I, then I, then I, I, I said to myself, I said to myself, are they happy? Are they happy? I looked into the and, and I could see there's yes, there's this real simple happiness there. And I could see in their eyes. Spoke to the city leader and he said, he said to me, they have enough food. It's just very difficult to get products in and out. I saw in their eyes they have a lot of dreams. Hmm. But we choose to be simple. Being simply yeah. is the true happiness. There's always a balance. There's a balance between progress so there's no poverty and between keeping the traditional way of life that makes them happy. It's, it's a difficult one and it's certainly not one that I should be preaching on. You know what I like about the fish pond is that's a very local solution to where these communities are I think as natural as we get. It's been like this for thousands of years. Cities are very recent. Let's not try to be the saviour. I felt such admiration for the people living here. How they accepted and overcame their problems because I wouldn't last a week here. GoPro Pros and, and, and Miss David's laughing on the floor.
at uh, the fact I was overthinking, I was saying the horse can, the horse can carry 100 kilos, it does it all the time. And David said four pesos per kilo. <laughs> <laughs> because, 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 I'm now a product. I'm now a product. You put me in a sack. <laughs> We're going to divide your left foot and right foot. <laughs> ah, just ride the blooming horse and experience it. That's the way. Uh, I'm not going to change the world in one day, am I? <laughs> and yeah, you know, shouldn't overthink other people's problems because they they know what the problem is. They have an idea how to fix it and. What can we do? Things like the road, it's good. Because, guess what? They're happy. And that's more than I can say. <laughs> oh, picture, the picture. Oh, the picture. Are we politicians? We are not politicians, we are celebrities. <laughs> there we go, picture okay, taken. Uh, salamat ka ayo. I'm reminding myself, keep it simple. Keep it simple. Stop overthinking, which is easier said than done. But keep it simple. And don't try to second guess other people's problems. We can't solve other people's problems. We can help them out though, if they ask. And I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a sack for the road, a sack of rice to start for the road. So that's what they've asked to start. So let's do that. I can do that. Little things, you know. Go up on bamboo. Unsana ang iyahan